There we go. Come on. Oh yeah, bluefish for dinner. There we go, that's a keeper. I got one. Fish on. There's a big school of them right there. Blue fish on. Little snapper blue action. Oh, it's a better one. Oh, it's Shad. Oh, no, it's a blue. It's a little better. It's a good one. Good snapper. Just using a uh, one ounce, sorry, three quarter ounce gold Castmaster Walmart special. Fish on. Yeah, that's a little better. Better bluefish. Nice. Take that. Maybe a 16, 17 inch blue. Nice. Oh, let's get him in here. Start with the bigger one here. Now filleting a bluefish is pretty easy. It's right behind the head here. I'm gonna get all that meat. Just make one cut straight down to the belly. Get your knife on in there and just run it along the backbone. And we're keeping the skin on. So there's one fillet done. Uh, trim out any bones. Side's a little bit trickier, but same process. Turn your knife, run it along the bone, and there we go. You get all of that clean meat. Take the ribs out, and uh, I'm actually saving these for later in the season uh, for crabbing bait. Bluefish are nice and oily, they make really good crabbing bait. Alright, and the little guy. In and just glide it down the spine there. There we go. Six fillets, skin on, scales on. It's going to help protect it from the heat of the grill. All right, we've got our bluefish fillets with the skin and the scales on, uh, cooling off in the fridge. Here we go. Here's our topping. Uh, we're going to add some salt, black pepper. I'm going to add a, a couple teaspoons of an already prepared basil pesto. Uh, this is totally not necessary. It's just, you know, up to you. If you just want to throw some extra olive oil, some extra garlic, that's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to add the juice of one lemon, uh, you know, try to get all that juice in there because you're going to need it um, to help blend and help incorporate everything into a nice uh, paste. You don't want it too runny, 
but uh, can't be too thick also. All right, now I'm adding a nice handful of fresh parsley. Uh, this makes a huge difference. Two cloves garlic. And finally, a little bit of uh, grated Parmesan cheese. The cheap stuff, nothing fancy here, guys. This is going to taste great. And finally, uh, some extra olive oil just to help everything blend. Uh, put that in your food processor. I'm using a Nutribullet, you know, whatever you want to use. Just blend that baby up until it's uh, a nice paste consistency. If you have to add a little water, that's fine. If you have to add some more lemon juice, totally fine as well. Uh, we just want that, that right consistency where it's sticking to the fish um, without being too globby or too liquidy and just falling off. Here's the final product. Uh, let's head over to the grill. Okay, guys, got my grill here preheated to about 300 degrees. We're talking a low to medium heat. Uh, I've scraped the grill grates pretty darn good. You want them nice and clean. And I've also added some olive oil cooking spray. Let that burn off a second. And then just lay those bluefish fillets right down on the skin. Uh, the skin and the scales, we've kept those on. And it's going to help protect the fish. Um, I like to start off just letting them sit there for three to five minutes uh, without any sauce. And um, yeah, so we'll close that lid. We'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we're about uh, four or five minutes in. There you can see the uh, the heat from the bottoms coming up and cooking that fish. So yeah, just give this a stir, get that olive oil all incorporated again, and we're just gonna put a you know spoonful on each one, kind of rub it in there a little bit. All right, guys, another uh, three, four minutes at 300 to 350 degrees, and these guys are done. You can see how they're starting to curl up a little bit, and uh, once it's nice and firm, you know, to, to the touch, get them out of there. They're, they're done. You don't want to overcook this stuff for sure. Um, bluefish is a little bit softer than, say, like a redfish or striped bass, so just be really careful when you're pulling them off there, but that's all it takes. There we go, finished product. Just gonna uh, squirt some extra lemon on there. Um, it, the smell is just incredible. Very aromatic. You get that garlic. You're getting the pine nut, the roasted pine nut smell. Uh, and look, the, look at the way the flesh just comes off that skin. That skin has really protected that fish on the grill. Uh, discard the skin. Uh, pop, pop the fish into your mouth, and uh, you know, just be surprised because you know this bluefish, it's damn good. Stop throwing your bluefish back. Uh, stop thinking that they're no, no better than bait. It's good.